Okay, here's an ICOM ICPS20 switching power supply. Got off eBay. This is a little bit of an odd duck. Um, this has got a 50% duty cycle. And it was designed according to the web for an IC551D 6 meter radio. It doesn't have a standard plug. Um, this puts out a standard 20 amps at um, 13 and a half volts and a 50% duty cycle switcher and it doesn't norm use a normal plug. The size of this thing here is seven inches by about eh, say four and a half by about eh, let's jump this thing around here it's about ten inches anyways this has got in the back here has a speaker input of 8 ohms. It says built in speaker. It has an output for a fan so you can bump the duty cycle up a little bit. It's a tenth of an amp, 12 volts. Here's the main turn on, on and off. Um, the connector on this has got a weird three pin connector, so I've gone through and kind of butchered this thing. Uh, I bought this off internet, the eBay, real cheap, and it's got a ground 12 volts and then it's got a sense wire which is an orange wire and the way this works is that at least on this one I'm not sure if mine is actually totally correct you got to turn the main power on and then go through and ground the orange wire and that clicking noise is the supply turning on and one weirdness about mine here, and I don't know if all of them are like this or whatever, is that once it's on like this, if you turn this off, and then you turn it back on again, it may or may not start. Mine sometimes is to where I've got to go through a sequence of turning on the main supply and then turning this on. Now once I've used this for a while, sometimes I can just leave the orange wire tied to ground and then key this on. And what I've been doing for the last year is going through, is turning it off and going through and then turning it on and then grounding the wire. And then it puts out 12 volts. At least on mine, it's been to where if it's off, and I leave this tied high and turn it on. Right there it turned on. Half the times it won't do that. So I have to go through this like moon launch sequence. So I've got a normal uh, ICOM plug here I've spliced in kind of with a balance with a noise filter. But anyways, on mine I've had to do that. And I'm not sure if they're all like that or mine's got a problem. This has worked flawlessly in the sense it's power to rig but I've had to go through this deal where I've got to go through turn the supply on and then tie this wire high normally to get this to fire or tie this to ground excuse me um, the wires at least on mine there is one that's got a black red and then there's a red wire when I cut off the connector and I only paid like about 30 bucks for this power supply because it was an oddball thing and so where somebody else didn't get this for their six meter radio, I just was looking for a cheap supply and somebody had mentioned on one website here called uh, ab4oj.com, it says there's an ad ad adapter cable available. Well anyways, fooling around with mine, you've got to go through, turn it on, and then tie it to ground. And it's weird. It's been doing that normally for about a year like that, and then lately the thing has been where it's sometimes going ahead and stays on. So I'm not sure what the deal is. If I go over here and look at the LED here, on mine it's such that a lot of times you've got to go through that power sequence. And that was meant for a 6 meter radio where... They went through and um, had a certain way it's hooked up. Maybe somebody else can comment whether that's 
the normal way this is supposed to work. If I go over here and connect this up here, I've got there's 12 volts. If I turn the supply off in the back, it should bleed down here in a few seconds. Not very much through the uh, voltmeter. There it is bleeding down. I'll let that bleed down. And I'm going to tie this together here. This is grounding the orange wire. And there it is. So, at least on mine, you have to go through, turn it on, and then go through and connect it up. And then it's got 14 volts. So there's some type of sequencing deal. So you, at least the one I've got here, I can't claim since this is off of eBay whether it's the way it's supposed to work. At least on mine, this PS20 power supply, you got to turn the switch on in the back. Then you have to ground the orange wire here, which is the uh, coming off the big connector. It's got a ground, which is black and red, and then there's a red wire, which is the plus 12 nominal. And then there's a sense wire here, or a control wire, that you've got to go through and tie to ground after the switch is turned on. So it's kind of strange that the sequence has got to be like that. I don't know what the history is, but... It works pretty good. I've been using this for a good while here. And I just kind of like didn't realize, I didn't see on the net anybody had mentioned about this sequence of that. And if somebody else has got one of that, these they can convert it over. Maybe you can comment if this is the way it's supposed to work or give me a little bit of a clue on there. Now, I haven't really gone and looked at the schematic. I've downloaded one, found somebody on the internet that has one. And I haven't really hacked into it to see if there's, you know, a workaround on there or something. But uh, it's a nice little supply. Again, there's the back. Fused, main switch, speaker input. Haven't really fooled around with the speaker on there. I guess the fan on this is so you can blow on this to have maybe a bigger duty cycle. This is for an older rig, but I just wanted to shoot this video in case somebody else wants to buy one of these just to explain uh, a possible way you've got to turn it on. Seems kind of basic, but um, I, I thought reading in one, a couple websites that you just hooked up a connector. So I've had an ICOM connector here with my junk pile. ICOM Kenwood type of six connector, connect, uh, connector for ham radio. Where they basically just have two in parallel here and I just spliced it in kind of with some uh, clear duct tape which isn't the best thing but worked cut off the connector I might put the connector on eBay for somebody in case they need one the for the six meter radio but um, you've got to go through the sequence on mine where you turn this on and then you ground it now what's weird, I've been doing that for a year or two, and then this morning I had this hooked up, left it on all night, and then I went through and turned this off, and had a hook to a radio, it turned it back on after a minute or two, and it powered up without going through this sequence. So, it could be that this, this thing like this is just due to, uh, maybe there's a capacitor screwed up in there, electrolytic or something, and then... Uh, the sequence is goofed up because it's not pulling something high and it's being held down by a bad capacitor. I could believe that, but I, for, since I've owned this for about a year or two, I've gone through and going through this where I've got to turn this on, the main switch on, then ground the orange wire to get it to work. I've used this over here on ICOM 730 over here. Works pretty well. Then also a... Um, 720A, which I also had on eBay playing around with. That's the one that has the attenuator problem here. The clicking attenuator. 
there it's loud but there's the 730 you've been playing with and anyways hope that uh, explains to somebody at least one way you can hook that up I just spliced in a cable here turn it on then I ground it the orange wire so there's only three wires in here the ground on mine is a black red and then the other wire in here is a solid red which is a positive and then this is the control wire which is turned on turned on main and then you ground this to turn it on this has just got the standard plug in here plug it in it says made in Japan 13.8 volts at 20 amps and it's fused it's a nice looking little power supply and it's got a deal here to put it up if you want to have it in an angle there's what the front looks like looks like a mid 80s if I had to guess I may be totally wrong there's the LED that lights up when it's on. 